A very warm welcome to On Cue Billiards in La Mesa for their Friday night nine ball tournament. This is a first round winner side match between Al Kiambao and myself and Mike Holt. We're both B players, so it's an even race to four. I'm starting out with a break and I've actually made the nine off the break, but when you make it in either of those top two pockets, it's not a win, it's not a golden break, and it's respotted, but you get to carry on your inning. If you make it in any of the other pockets, however, you do get a win. So made the one, but didn't have a shot on the two, didn't manage to get around far enough, so I tried to hook Al, and I didn't really do a very good job. He was able to play cushion first and sink the two, but then I think he was playing a cross-corner bank, and he just missed that and left it over the pocket for me, so I'm trying to drag and pull with a little left to get out into the middle of the table. I actually wanted to get the four in the side, but I'm going to take this in the corner because it's a straight shot. And it's very tight trying to squeeze the five past the eight and I actually put it into the eight. I think there was a way, but I would have to put it in the left-hand corner of the pocket. Great shot by Al there. Very unfortunate. He had inside English on it, so that checked up and hooked him behind the nine and his attempt to kick saw him scratch, so he presented me with an easy run out. Just got to get in the center of the table, trying to get just below straight. And then I can play off the long rail with a bit of bottom left. And it's a straightforward nine in the corner, so I'm going to lead one nil. Break in rack two, I've scratched very annoyingly. The one's gone in the bottom left corner, I say bottom right corner. And Al's got this straightforward two to begin. Three in the side. He's got to get down table for the four, though. That looks pretty good. Yeah, he's bumped the six. Oh, but he's dogged the four there. So an opportunity to me. Bottom right. Just get past that side pocket. Ooh, that was close, but perfect shape on the five. Stun over towards the six. Don't get straight. You need a bit of an angle. That'll do. And just push forward, trying to miss the eight and come out into the middle of the table of two rails. And a nice angle. I do need the bridge, but I can just push this in one rail and leave myself just short of the pocket line so I can play the long rail and get back across for the nine in the top left. And it's all going smoothly at the moment. This looks like 2-0. Indeed it is. I'm breaking rack three. But looks like I'm breaking dry. Not left much, so Al's playing a safety. Left it a bit short there, trying to hook me. I'm comboing this eight in that top left. And nicely on the one. I've got to get the bridge out, though. And nearly missed that, actually. Put it into the long rail, just about a diamond from the pocket. So that four was thinner than I wanted it to be, and I didn't get any English on that. I needed a little bit of right so that I could uh, see the three ball if I traveled up the table. So my attempted kick is missed, and I've given up ball in hand. And looks like he's got a wired nine here. Great shot. Indeed it is. Where's the cue ball? Ooh, that was close. So 2-1, Al with the break. Makes the nine as well. This gets respotted. He carries on with his inning. Nice shot on the one. But uh, nothing straightforward on the two. And he's trying to hook me there behind the three. Didn't quite judge the path of the cue ball. And that's quite a poor attempt uh, to put that in the bottom left, but uh, maybe I got away with it. And his attempted safety there has gone wrong again, so I've got a chance to hook him back. Didn't quite get the draw on the cue ball. We'll try to hide it behind the five and send the uh, two down the table, so he's got a chance. Here he's trying to bank that into the cluster of balls, and that's worked very nicely. Two's down. He's kicking at the three. Looking good. Excellent kick. And fairly long four ball in the corner. That's another good shot. 
Can you do the same with the five? A bit close to the rail. But it's a big pocket, but he didn't need it. Straight in. Very nice. Combo coming up. Oh, he's missed it on the way there. Is it going to H? Well, it was certainly going, but it's run out of steam, so presented me with a nice opportunity to mop up these four. Three of them literally over the pocket. The eight's not quite in the hole, so I've just got to make sure I catch it right. Cutting it in to make it down to the, or make it up to the top short rail and then back down a little bit for the nine. You just don't want to make the nine missable in any way. And so I'm on the hill. And made a couple of balls there on that break. And how's my luck with the one ball one? Not much of a shot. I'm going to play a hook behind the eight here. And Al playing tactically, deciding to put the nine in. In case he missed that kick, he would have given me a, a very easy combination to win the game. Now I slipped up here. You see, there was a chap behind me. And I just quickly rushed in to play my shot before he wanted to play his. And I rushed it, missed a very easy shot. I would suggest waiting. Let them play. And then you're not going to be hurried in any way. Slightly hooked me. Bit of a swerve using the bridge onto the rail. Just managed to clip it thin, but I'm not going to get safe. Uh, not ideal. It's uh, make this in the side, but just getting up table. Oh, he's just played to get out in the middle so he can cut the green in. And he's caught that a bit thick. So I'm going to go cross corner bank, a one pocket shot. Just about wiped his feet and made it in. I think I can bank this seven in the same pocket, actually. And may as well bank out all the way. Eight in the top right. Yeah, I just cut it a little bit too much. It was, I think if I had hit that a little bit more positively, it wouldn't have opened up as much and I might have made it. And he's a bit of body movement on that one. It's going all the way around the table. Oh, I thought he was going to make it in a four rail. So a bit wary using top because uh, it can reverse off that short rail. So I try and play with just uh, about centre ball, but left it a bit short. So I'm going to try a bank in the corner, but terrible miscue. I concede that rack. And uh, Al gets to break in the next. Yeah, miscues like that uh, are down to body movement. And I do have a tendency, especially when I'm hitting something hard, to lift my head up. And uh, I think that's exactly what happened there. So I've got to really focus on power shots at keeping absolutely dead still. Trying to kick into the two and get the nine in the top right. Needed to catch it thinner, caught it too full. So left an opportunity for Al to get this two in the bottom left. And that's a great shot. Well played, Al. And he's trying to get the cue ball behind the seven, I think, there. But he's set me up. Find the gap here between the five and the eight. Should be good on the four ball. Bit straight, so it's a drawback with a little bit of reverse side. Into the middle of the table. So I've gone past the desired position there. So I'm going to have to try and screw this onto the left-hand long rail. And uh, it's a little bit too hard and I didn't get the shape anyway as you can see there bad shot not smooth strike that was all caused by not getting the right side on the five so good safety there from Al I'm actually going to try and bank this into the nine caught it double kiss however I'm going to get away with it I don't think so he's got a thin cut here maybe Play with a bit of right to get towards the six. That's a good shot. Middle left, maybe a touch below centre. Uh, he's got the cue ball where he wanted it, but unfortunately, some distance off with the pot on the green. I'm going to try and roll this in to the side. Just caught the eight on the way there, and I've set him up i mean it's not easy but uh, it's quite close to the pocket he's played a good shot though 
Getting the cue ball all the way back for the seven. Well done. Bit of a draw shot coming up. Looking good. And that's a very nice kiss. So all he needs to do is draw back a couple of feet. Got too much on it, and that cue ball's all the way in the pocket. So I'll concede. So I win 4 2. Check out the channel for further matches from this tournament. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.